I don't have to tell you about the inequalities in society because you experience them every single day. I don't have to tell you because so many of you sitting in front of me and within the hearing of my voice are hotel workers who are dismayed to find that their severance and their unemployment take a backseat to propping up big business. That is a pain that is felt in this country. We are all dismayed when we see policies put in place that allow some to leapfrog ahead of others and leave some behind. But it has always been the mandate of the Democratic Labour Party to be the champion of the underdog. And I pledge that under my leadership, that will continue to be the case. Because prior to COVID, we were already feeling pain in this country. Prior to COVID, we were already overtaxed. They spoke about the NSRL, but when they removed the NSRL, what they replaced it with has actually burdened our pockets more. So when I go into my archives and I see the pictures of reduced taxes now, I wonder how those persons holding those placards feel today. Because prior to COVID, we were already experiencing pressure. I don't have to tell you how almost immediately our crime situation got out of hand. Approximately 50 murders last year, and we are well on course to tip that scale again this year. And we all know that runaway crime, and that's only speaking about the murder rate. We all know that runaway crime is a symptom of a society that is crying out for help. So we know that it is not enough to promise more policing, more stringent sentences, curtailing of bail, until we have the social engineering that allows our people to feel like they are actually a part of this society, we will continue to have the problem.